To create a 3D model, we need a 3D application. Examples of it are Unity, Blender, Morphe, Quibins, etc. The one that we are going to use in this tutorial is Blockbunch. All the information related to it is in the description. To start our project, in this app we first need to create an item block project. Select the name you want and that's it. To know about the other options, check their wiki. We are not going to touch that now. Once it is created, the project is there. You just have to add the information. So, how to create the model? Right here. You can see a plus button. If you click it, you will add a cube. This cube can be moved, resized, and rotated. And you can add as many cubes as you want. So, the limit is your imagination. As a warning before starting, the cubes has a max of size, that is 3 times 3 times 3 blocks. That is huge, so I don't think you will create something bigger than that. Anyways, it is there. Now, create what you want. So it is done, the model is ready, now let's create the texture for it. Right now it is empty, so let's paint it. To create the texture you have to select every block in your project. A way to do it that I like is creating a folder and having everything inside it. So if I click the folder, I am selecting everything. But you can select every block just by targeting everyone, as you want. Once we are selecting every cube, in the left side we see a plus button to add a texture. Let's click it. Inside here, the important part is the name and pixel density. The name must be lowercase, otherwise the texture pack will not be able to read it. And the pixel density is how much quality it will have. For example, 16 pixels means less density of pixels inside the texture. And 64 pixels means a lot of density of pixels inside it. You can choose whatever you want. If you like the details and paint a lot, select a high value on it. You can read what the other options does in their wiki. We are not going to touch it right now. Once the texture is created, let's go to the paint section of Blockbench. Here you will be able to paint your texture. You have many tools. You can choose them in the top bar. The most common are the brush, the bucket, choose your color and work changing the size opacity of the brush. Anyways, explore this GUI and paint your ideal texture. Once we finish our texture, we would have the model ready, the texture ready and one thing is left, the display of the item itself. So, let's go to the display section of Blockbench. Right here, you will need to edit every type of display of the item. The first one is how it looks in third person, and you can use many reference models to see how it would look on every case. The next one is the same but with left hand, then how the item would look in first person, and so on. Edit the things as you want, there is no limit here. As a tip, for example, once creating one display for right hand and then you want to create for the left hand, you can copy the values you created so it will be faster and easy to make everything. Now the item is ready, the model is done, the texture is done and how it would look in game is done. The last step is just merging it with a texture pack. To do it, we have to download this item not as Blockbench model but as .json file. 
let's go to file, export and export block item model. Then let's save this file in the folder you want and also we need the texture. So click on the button next to the texture and save it too. Now we have two files, let's merge it into a texture pack. To create the texture pack, I suggest you to follow the instructions in the link below where you have a video in this channel or a written explanation as a wiki. Choose the one you prefer. The procedure is already explained. The only part I have to make sure you to understand is that the JSON file that we downloaded will be referenced from the custom model data line of the item and the second one, the JSON file we are talking about, you have to make sure that one is using the correct path of the texture. Now the texture pack is ready, the custom model data line is done, it references the JSON of Blockbench and it is referenced with the correct path of the texture. So everything should be alright. Now let's add our texture pack into Minecraft and it's done. The model is as we said before, the texture is the same and it is displayed on every mode in the same way we set in Blockbench. We have created a 3D mode. I hope you understood, you liked it and it was useful. I will create a written wiki that I will leave in the description below just in case something wasn't clear here. Remember, you need pre-knowledge related to texture pack for the moment of merging the files. Anyways, my job is done, yours just started. Good luck and see you.